Welcome to the Strategy Mob Podcast. Tune in for everything you need to know to stay in the know regarding the automotive industry. Here's your host, Jason Harris. It's not only you know dealing with the different generations in the background, but it's also how you're attracting those different generations. Like, I mean, I know dealerships right now that, 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 that look, they still want those older guys. Yeah. You know, the, the, the kind of roughneck foreman, you know, that's back there that, you know, can literally put a hand on a car and go, yeah, it's a head gasket. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, it's a and then you got the younger guy that wants to bring out his tool and plug it in. He goes, no, son, put that away. It's the head gasket. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but there is, there's such, there's such a broad range out there. So it's like, how do we attract? How do we yeah. bring in that new talent? I mean, look, not, not only do we have the complexity of multiple generations, but now we also have the complexity of this being a pandemic. And, you know, to your point, we were mentioning this off camera, you know, you had some dealerships that were bringing on, trying to bring on as many to, new techs as they can in the month of July. So, yeah. I mean, I'd love to kind of get your thoughts, like, you know, in the middle of a pandemic, you know, how do we bring in this new blood? So I, I was a little different than a lot of people as we went into the pandemic and, and, one of the things that I advised a lot of our clients on was I I said to be aggressive. And and while that sounds really, really scary, down here in the US, most dealerships, as long as they weren't huge public uh, companies that, well, they, even they tried to take the money, but they took the PPP money and that paid for wages. So, uh, you know, while it was all doom and gloom through that process, the, the folks that got the the PPP money ended up really, really far ahead. They did really well. And there were some big companies that were letting go of lots of technicians. And and granted, I don't know if they were cherry picking the technicians on who they wanted to keep and who they didn't want to. But the fact was that there was a probably a month time period where we like we at Find Rent were just getting flooded with resumes, like just people applying like crazy. Uh, and maybe if they saw some uncertainty uh, in, in their, you know, if you work for a public company and you can see everything, there's probably some worry based on what they're saying. Right. And, and as I listen to some of these, I, I like to listen to, uh, to the earnings calls. Right. And one of the things that they talk about was how technicians are so valuable and they, they weren't cutting technicians for the most part, but the technicians didn't hear that the same way. So they were they were afraid hearing of all of these cuts and everything like that, that, hey, maybe I'm next and not knowing like, hey, you're you're really valuable, like that you're you're one of the last people they're going to think about letting go uh, of. So I, you know, I, I was I was advising clients to be aggressive through that. Uh, we did have a, a, a couple of dealerships specifically that were aggressive and they they landed some great talent in that time period. Now, it's kind of like the wild west again now, right? So like trying trying to find a tech, we've been absolutely buried. And I think my, my whole kind of spiel here is that we've got to make, you're selling to these technicians, right? It's not, it's not the other way around anymore. And even in an interview, it's a lot of times they're interviewing you more than you're interviewing them, right? And so really kind of buying into that, that, that mentality and having a paradigm shift on uh, how you approach a tech is so huge, so huge. And so I think, um, you know, it's, I know that's a loaded answer to the pandemic question. But no, but, but no you're right though. I mean, because it, it's, it's even during the pandemic, all right, we have different techs coming in, different generations, all right? Y you can't treat them all the same. Thanks for tuning in to the Strategy Mob Podcast with your host, Jason Harris. Don't want to miss new content? Be sure to sign up to be a mobster at strategymob.com to stay in the know. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Happy podcasting.